Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my nighttime skincare routine. So um, if you saw my morning skin skincare routine, you'll now see my what I do at night. So it's a little more intensive, but um, same with like my morning skincare. A lot of people are like, well, I just wash my face and I'm good to go. And that is fine. If your skin is how you want it, then that's totally fine, whatever works for you. For me, I just, uh, something about like washing my face and putting nice products on it, I just really enjoy it. It's relaxing, especially at night. I hope you guys all enjoy this. I also am going to be doing another just quick video on a quick way to cleanse your face. Just do an oil cleanse. Um, I make my own little oil blends and sometimes if I just want a deep cleanse I will do that so I will have that video up um, soon I just wanted to get this one first because a lot of you guys have been asking for it so here we go so the first thing is to obviously wash off your makeup and for me the best way to wash my, my makeup off is to use some sort of oil that gets it all off. So when I'm just quickly washing my face, I use the Moody Sisters Eye Makeup Remover. I use this all over my face. It is just um, pure oils, vitamin E, and I'm actually going to be ordering all the ingredients to this and making it myself soon, so stay tuned for that. When I want more of a deeper cleanse, I will use my olive oil and castor oil. So, um, I mean, you can use makeup wipes, but for me, those kind of just take off the surface layer. They don't really get everything, you know, like deep down in your pores. So what I woo, like to do with this, sometimes I'll put it on dry, sometimes I'll put it on wet. doesn't really matter. I just kind of shake it up, pour some on my hands, and I just apply it all over my face. First my face, then my eyes, rub it in, and then I'll wash it off. And I have contacts right now in because I am blind, so... Um, if I, if this gets in my contacts and this is a complete disaster, then we will see what, how that goes. Hopefully it's not. This just really breaks up all of your makeup. I just love it. I'm going to wash it all off. And I take a little bit more, pretty scary, huh? <laughs> and wash the rest off. And then take a towel, preferably dark, so you don't get all your makeup off on it. And then just kind of rub it all off. I always wash all my makeup off and then I cleanse again and either I'll use just a normal cleanser which you can look at in my daytime routine or I'll use a scrub at night which I usually do so this is the Cure Brightening Facial Scrub and I really like this because it just kind of gets into my skin my pores just cleans everything out from the day which I really like I also really like the Avalon Organics Lavender Scrub so this is a green scrub and then I'll just rub it all over my face and then wash it off Now you're all clean and washed. Moving on to toner. So at night, I'd like to use my Paula's Choice. This is the 2% BHA liquid salicylic acid. And it's a exfoliator that exfoliates under your skin. Um, I'll use that probably every other day. I don't like to use it every night. I feel like it might, can be a little bit too much. And then on the other days, I'll use my Jolique Rose Water. Just a nice... Rose water kind of balances your skin and gives you a lot of hydration. So I will use my Paula's Choice. I put it on a cotton round, cotton pad, whatever you have, and I just put this all over my skin. This really helps with breakouts. If you guys break out, um, this kind of keeps your skin in check, evens out your skin tone and all that good stuff. So it also kind of gets rid of any excess um, makeup and dirt because I just washed my face two times and look, this still has gunk on it. Okay, after that, I always put on a serum, which I love. So the two that I use are the same ones that I use during the day. The Avalon Organics Vitamin C and the Andalou Naturals um, 
and lightning serum. I'll use the Avalon. Like, whoa, I think I used the other one last time. This just recently has been like squirting out like crazy. I put that all over my face, down my neck. And then um, I'll do my eye serum. So I have the Jurelique Eye Recovery Gel and the Annalee Naturals Eye Serum. These I have, I use the same ones during the day, so it's nothing new here. I just kind of pop these under my eye. And then for my moisturizer is when I change it up a little bit. So this is when I use more oils. So if I am breaking out, if I'm just having a really bad skin day, I will take my Cebu Sea Buckthorn Seed Oil. comes in a little dropper. And it's just like orange. It smells interesting. Ugh, not good, but it's totally worth it to me. And I will put this on my entire face and just use that as a serum kind of moisturizer. And it just kind of absorbs into my skin and just feels really good and I wake up and my skin just looks much much better. For moisturizers, okay, um, sometimes I will just use my Josie Marin Argan Oil, it's just 100% Argan Oil. I haven't found one yet that compares to this, I just apply it all over my skin. I also have these creams that have the Revival Labs Alpha Lipoke Acid. This one is amazing, this is one I highly suggest to everyone. I also have the Andalou Naturals Probiotic and C Renewal Cream. I have a lot of nighttime moisturizers. I don't know why. I just, I like changing it up a little bit. Another thing that I'll do sometimes is use my like one nighttime, like one cream and then I'll mix an oil with it. So this is the Jurelique Skin Balancing Face Oil and I'll just put a couple drops um, all over my skin and then I'll put a little bit of this on. It kind of just depends on what my skin is really needing. If my skin's like really dry, I'll put the Josie Marin Oil on. I'm going to use the Revival Labs. Um, that sounds good to me right now. This one just really kind of evens out my skin tone. And then I'll put a little bit of this oil on just so you can see. Just kind of put a couple drops on my fingers. And rub it in. It smells just so soothing and relaxing. I just love it. So you kind of get like aromatherapy benefits at the same time. And that's it. That's what I do. So I just make sure that I really hydrate my skin. But before you really hydrate your skin, you have to make sure that you get every last trace of makeup off. Um, because you don't want to be cramming those, you know, the gunk down into your pores more. And that is it, my friends. Um, I, if you have any questions, let me know. But this is generally what I do. I mean, not generally, this is what I do. And I hope you guys all found this helpful. For any future requests, just leave them in the comments. And I will see you guys all next time.